So in the first exercise, we'll be dealing with three shapes, that is cuboid, cube, and cylinder. Let us revise the formulas for all the three shapes. Now, the area of the vertical faces for a cuboid is 2 L plus B into H, where L is the length, B is the breadth, and H is the height of a cuboid. The total surface area is 2 LH plus BH plus LB and the volume is L into B into H. For a cube, the area of the vertical faces is 4 L square, where L is the length of any side of a cube. Remember, all the sides of a cube have the same length. The total surface area is 6 L square and the volume is L cube. Now, for the cylinder, we have two dimensions, which one is the radius, the other one is the height. So the plane surface area is 2 pi r square. The curved surface area is 2 pi r h. So the total surface area of a cylinder is 2 pi r r plus h. And the volume of a cylinder is pi r square h. Now, let us start with our first example. The length, breadth and height of a cuboid shaped box of medicine is 20 cm, 12 cm and 10 cm respectively. So there is a box with the given length, breadth and height. We have to find the surface area of the vertical faces and the total surface area. Now the area of the vertical faces, let us recall the formula. The area of the vertical faces is 2 length plus breadth into height. So we'll substitute all the given values and we'll calculate it. So the area of the vertical faces comes to 640 centimeter square. Now the other thing we need to find is the total surface area of this box. So the total surface area of the box, the formula is 2LB plus BH plus LH. So we'll random the formula and we'll substitute all the given values. So calculating we get the total surface area to be 1120 centimeters square. So finally, we'll write down all the answers which we have found out. So basically in this exercise, we just need, directly need to use the formula and substitute all the given values. We'll directly get the answer. So let's look at the second question. The total surface area of a box of cuboid shape is 500 square units. Its breadth and height is given as 6 and 5 units. So what is the length of the box? This time the total surface area, the breadth and the height is given. And we have to find the length of the box. So now let us recall the area for the total surface. The formula for the total surface area that is 2 LB plus BH plus LH. So we'll substitute the given values. The total surface area is given as 500, whereas the breadth is given as 6 and the height is given as 5. So we'll substitute all the values. Now we'll solve it further to find out the value of L. So I'll take 60 on the left hand side. So 22L is equal to 440 dividing 22, I'll get L is equal to 20 units. Let us take the third example now. The side of a cube is 4.5 centimeter. We have to find the surface area of the vertical face and the total surface area of the box. So again, this time there's a cube. Remember, all the dimensions of the cube, the length, breadth, and height are the same. So there's just one dimension, that is L, the length. Now, what is the area of the vertical faces of a cube? That is 4L square. So we'll substitute the values. So 4.5 square comes to 20.25 into 4. That will be 81 centimeters square. We also have to find out the total surface area that is 6L square. Again, we'll substitute the value of, of L that is 4.5 and solving it further, we get the value of the total surface area as well. The next example. 
the total surface area of a cube is 5400 centimeter square that is 5400 centimeter square we have to find the surface area of the vertical faces now this time the total surface area is given we don't know the length so using the formula for the total surface area that is 6L square we can find out the length first so the total surface area is 5400 is equal to 6L square dividing 6 I'll get L square is equal to 900 and taking square root I'll get L is equal to 30 centimeters once I get the value of L now I can find the area of the vertical faces you know the area of vertical faces is 4L square so we already found out the value of L I'll just substitute the value and I'll get the area of vertical faces as 3600 centimeters square this is exactly how a question is going to be represented now the next example the volume of cuboid is 34.50 cubic meters the breadth and height of a cuboid is 1.5 and 1.15 meters respectively find its length now the volume of a cuboid is given its breadth is given and its height is given we have to find its length now what is the formula for the volume of a cuboid that is LBH so we'll write down the formula and we'll substitute the given values the volume is given as 34.50 the breadth is given as 1.5 and the height is given as 1.15 so dividing all the terms on the right hand side I'll get L is equal to 4 centimeters so the length of the box or cuboid is 4 centimeters next what will be the volume of a cube having the length of the edge 7.5 centimeters this is fairly simple example the length is given and we know the volume the formula for the volume of a cube is L cube so the answer will be 7.5 cube that is 421.875 centimeter cube will be the volume of cube such questions can come up to about 2 marks next the radius of the base of a cylinder is 20 centimeters and the height is 13 centimeters you have to find its curved surface area and the total surface area now the radius and height of a cylinder is already given so all the required dimensions are given we just have to use the formula for the curved surface area first what is the area of the curved surface area that is 2 pi r h so I'll substitute the values 2 into 3.14 into 20 into 13 so solving it I'll get the value as 1632.8 centimeter square we also have to find the total surface area the formula for the total surface area is 2 pi r r plus h so that will be 2 into 3.14 into 20 in bracket will be 20 plus 13 remember we need to solve the bracket first so we'll add 20 and 13 first and then multiply so we get the total surface area as 4144.8 centimeters square Next, the curved surface area of a cylinder is 1980 centimeter square. The radius is given as 15 centimeters, and we have to find the height of a cylinder. So, the curved surface area and the radius are given, and we have to find the height. Now, what is the curved surface area of a cylinder? The formula for the curved surface area is 2 pi r h. So, 2 pi r h is equal to 1980. We'll substitute all the given values that is 2 into 22 by 7 into h into 15 is equal to 1980 
So I need to divide all the terms on the left hand side which are in the numerator that is 2, 22 and 15 and I need to multiply 7 to 1980. Reducing it, I will get the value of H as 21 centimeters.